today we have with us Prasad Joshi sir. He is here to guide us about career in teaching. He is MSc MPhil MED and he has also completed his diploma in journalism. Sir, very first question. Uh, why do you think that students should think of a career in this field? The teaching field is a noble profession. And in this profession, if any person devotes himself, he will be able to transform an individual into a responsible citizen of India. Nowadays, due to government policies, the quantitative expansion of the education facilities is happening all across the India. And number of new schools, they are opening. So, with the growing number of schools, the opportunities for the appointment of teacher, they are also growing. And there will be a lot of demand for the quality teachers in this improved system of education. So, I feel the youth, those who want to join the teaching profession, they have got a better career opportunities in the teaching profession. As the number of primary schools they are increasing, consequently, after some years, the number of secondary schools, they will go also on, number of schools, they will also go on increasing. And similarly, it will translate into the further growth of the higher education facilities. So, the jobs for the teaching profession, they will be available in the future and so it is as it is a noble profession uh, that youth should join this profession. Which different qualities are required to be a good teacher? It's a good question. There is a lot of qualities which are essential for the teaching profession. Out of that, the first and foremost quality which is very essential to enter into a teaching profession it is mastery over content. The subject you are going to teach in the classroom, you should have mastery over that content. You should know the latest trends, techniques, the new developments in that particular subject. Another quality, it is familiarity with the different teaching methodologies. The modern education system is supposed to be a multipolar system in which the learner is at the center stage or at the focus of the system. So, it is called as a learner-centric education system. In this system, it is necessary to use and apply participatory teaching methods. So, the teacher should be able to apply and use such methodologies. Uh, earlier, this was not the case with the education system. So, it was a teacher-focused system. And so, due to learner-centered education system, it is very necessary that he should be familiarized with the updated, new, innovative teaching methodologies. Another quality, it is ability to integrate technology with teaching. With the advent of information and communication technology, the entire classroom scenario has drastically changed. Now, uh, most of the classrooms, they are equipped with the LCDs, the computers, the internet. So, the teacher should be able to browse, to surf on the internet. He should be able, he or she, he should be able to access the particular sites. Uh, he should be able to filter that sites and whatever appropriate content is there, he should be able to communicate it to the to students. Apart from that, due to introduction of ICT, uh, there are lots of softwares that are available and the teacher should be able to handle that softwares and hardware, both of them to handle very carefully. Another quality which is very essential for the teacher uh, teaching profession, it is commitment towards the education. The teacher who want to enter into teaching profession, he should be committed not only to his profession but to the institution and to the community and society at large. What educational qualification is required to work at a school level and at a college level? There are different qualifications prescribed for the teaching position at the different levels. If we consider the primary level of education, that is to teach from 1st to 8th standard, at present the basic qualification is 12th standard pass or I will say HSC pass plus the professional diploma, it is called as DTA, Diploma in Teacher Education. 
if we consider the secondary education scenario the basic qualification to enter as a teacher is a uh, degree the basic degree it in school subject it means ba or bsc uh, for example if a teacher want to join as a geography teacher he should be ba in geography and he should have a professional degree that is ba to teach at the higher secondary level that is for the junior colleges or 11th and 12th class popularly it is known as plus 2 stage uh, the basic qualification is post graduate degree in the concerned subject that it may be ma mcom msc plus the professional degree that is bed so these are the various qualifications essential for the teaching profession at the different levels if any teacher want to join in the higher education system that is to teach in the colleges and the universities the basic qualification is post graduate degree with minimum 55% marks and qualified in the eligibility test it is called as net or set these are the basic qualifications for the teaching position at different levels of education you just told us about degree and diploma courses yes. and other qualification can you please guide us about these courses in uh, detail okay we will be more specific i am speaking about the professional diploma and the degree that is dted or the bed course at present dted course the duration of the course is of 2 years uh, and regarding bed that is to work as a secondary education teacher uh, bed course at present the duration of the course is of only 1 year uh, within the 1 year the candidate has to complete uh, certain theoretical components and the practical components to get admission for the bed course it is a separate procedure uh, it is necessary to appear and qualify in the common entrance test it is called as uh, cet uh, for the bed course cet there are of two types one of the cet it is organized by the government that is director of higher education the director of higher education they implement all the procedure for the cet through the nodal agency at present it is a mcsl there is another cet prescribed by association of private bed colleges those colleges those who are affiliated to the association they can go with the association cet and the colleges affiliated to the government cet they can take up government cet so this is the uh, basic procedure and entire procedure is online through the alcs of the mkcl advanced learning centers of the mkcl student has to apply online after online application he has to appear for the cet qualify in the cet and of those who want to take admission for the english medium they have to appear for the content test in english it is a separate test uh, in the same cet so this is the procedure uh, after qualifying in the cet according to their merit and preferences they will be allotted the colleges of education and the colleges of education after verification of the original documents they will give admission to the candidates for the bed course this is the brief structure of the entire admission process for the bed course which subjects a student should take at graduation level which latter can be helpful as a method normally the students they should take the school subjects for example if it is a language if a candidate want to join the bed course uh, if he want to take the marathi method then he should have passed from the ba marathi then it is same applicable for the other subject hindi english science mathematics history and geography these are the popular subject it is called as school subjects after completing degree courses which are the other job opportunities uh, rather than teaching at school or college level after passing on from the bed there are a lot of job opportunities available for the candidates the first and important job which is available to the candidate it is nothing but the teacher the teacher at the various levels that is at the primary secondary higher secondary and the 
um, uh, college and the university teacher. According to his qualification and preference, he is likely to get placed in the teaching profession. Apart from the schools and colleges, nowadays there are several job opportunities or career opportunities that are available in the market. Most of the organizations, it may be business organization, industrial organization or service organizations, they impart in-service training to their workers. It is totally online. Nowadays, online courses, they are gaining more popularity. And to develop online courses, uh, educational specialist, it is known as instructional design, designers, they are required for this development of the online courses. So there is lot of opportunity to work as an instructional designer in the e-learning system. There are so many companies, uh, those who uh, working in the field of e-learning, they need the B.E.D. qualified teacher, uh, candidates. Apart from that, there is a huge demand of the content writers and the content editors. So these are the jobs available uh, at present in the market. Apart from instruction designer, the B.E.D. pass out, he can work as a SME that is subject matter expert. The uh, working of the subject matter expert is to prepare the various scripts for a particular content. He has to edit it or he has to validate the script written by the other uh, professionals. Apart from that, the beard pass out, he can go as an evaluator. The quality evaluators, they are very necessary in the online system of education. So, there are various job opportunities. They are open for the beard pass out candidates due to advent of information and communication technology. Are there any opportunities in government at state or central level? Yes, there are a lot of opportunities in the central and the state government. They are available for the B.Ed. pass out candidates. The first job opportunity that is with the armed forces. There is a separate branch. It is known as Army Education Corps or AEC in which recruitment is expected at the junior commissioned officer level and the commissioned officer level. So, uh, there is a good opportunity for the B.A.D. pass outs to join the Army Education Corps and to serve the nation. Uh, the second job opportunity which is available in the government sector that is uh, there are lots of posts of the education officers. Education officers or the deputy education officers. These are class 1 and class 2 post respectively. The basic qualification for deputy education officer or education officer is uh, graduation from a recognized university. He must, he or she, he must possess the professional degree that is B.A. course and minimum 5 years of a teaching experience in a uh, recognized school in a approved as an approved teacher. So this is the basic qualification and uh, this post they have got good upward mobility prospectus. That is if a teacher joins as an education officer in the Maharashtra education service, it is a state government service, he can have an opportunity to become a joint director of education or even more that is the director of education. Uh, so these are the facilities or opportunities for employment that are available in the government sector. Other than education officer and the deputy education officer, other job opportunities are also in the government and the semi-government sector. As far as Maharashtra education system is concerned, there is a demand of special officers for the subjects in Bala Bharati. So, such type of opportunities they are available in the government and the semi-government sector. Is there any other qualification required to work at CBSC schools or Navodaya Vidyalaya? To work as a teacher in the Kendriya Vidyalayas or the Navodaya Vidyalayas, uh, the basic qualification that they must qualify in the TET, that is the teacher eligibility test. Now, nowadays, it is a mandatory requirement to work in the uh, 
केंद्रीय विद्यालय और नवोदय विद्यालय स्कूल्स बट इन द नियर फ्यूचर ऑल द स्टेट्स इन इंडिया दे विल फॉलो द सेम प्रोसीजर एंड मे बी फ्रॉम द नेक्स्ट एकेडमिक इयर द टीचर एलिजिबिलिटी टेस्ट एंड टू क्वालिफाई इन दिस टेस्ट विल बी अ मैंडेटरी रिक्वायरमेंट टू एंटर इन अ टीचिंग प्रोफेशन कमिंग टू द लास्ट क्वेश्चन यस व्हाट यू वुड आई एडवाइस टू द न्यू कमर्स इन दिस फील्ड आई वुड लाइक टू एडवाइस द न्यू कमर्स इन टू दिस फील्ड दैट डू कम टू दिस फील्ड डोंट हेजिटेट टू जॉइन द टीचिंग प्रोफेशन एज पेमेंट्स आर बेटर and also if you mold the students into responsible citizen it is the greatest event of the self satisfaction or job satisfaction out of this profession so i appeal all those quality youths to join the teaching profession the only message i would like to give to the younger generation that you must be committed towards not only towards your profession but to the community and the society and to the nation at large today joshi sir gave us a lot of information about career in teaching field this information will be really helpful for all the students who aspire to become a teacher sir very thank you for coming here